and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. I am Squishy the Titan, and what's this? Could this be Amnesia? Is Squishy playing another Amnesia custom story? Yes, it is true. Now, uh, this is a special occasion because I just found the, uh, sequel to my favorite Amnesia custom story, albeit the one that I'm not biased towards, uh, A Late Night Drink. Uh, D'Angelo has released the, uh, Last Sip sequel, and, uh, it came out a while ago, but, uh, I kind of didn't realize it. So, uh, I went to check up on it, and lo and behold, it was released in September. So, now that we've got this, let's get into it. Oh, crap, I forgot to read that. So, um, now that I'm not gonna be a doof... Let's, uh, go ahead and boot that right back up. One week has passed since Michael Sanders' world was shattered by a simple sip of wine. Though he is plagued with horrible dreams, he had believed that his ordeal was over. He will soon discover that the late-night drink that sent him into a hellish world of nightmare was only the beginning. And sorry if I'm sniffly, I am starting to get sick and I just did a, uh, Sinus flush, so if I'm sne like sniffling, it's l because I'm literally leaking saline solution out of my nose. Alright, so we've got a note here. Hello, and thank you for playing my custom story. There's a whole host of things I'd like to address here, but I'll try to be quick. If you're recording this for YouTube, feel free to cut out this note from your video. Okay, please enjoy my custom story. I'm sure I will if it's anything like your first one. Okay. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be a lot like the original late night drink where these doors are going to be locked and I may have to open them at another time. Oh, I am so happy to be booting up Amnesia again. It's like finding an old outfit that you really liked. Well, okay. But it's like seeing an old friend. Booting up Amnesia. Oh, I remember this hallway. This hallway can go fuck itself. I got a box. I will fight you with a box! Okay. Starting this off nice and strong. <laughs> ah! You can go right to hell with that jump scare. Okay, and they're going red. Okay, okay! Always getting a little tilty. Okay, we're getting tilted up in here. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm Mama. If you remember from the original late night drink, that statue represents my mother, I believe. Oh, that is not my mama. That is not my mama. My box. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! No! Ah. Oh, okay. So that was supposed to happen. Alright. Starting this one out strong. I like it. My name is Michael. Michael Sanders. One week ago, I bought my dream house. I was only told that the previous owner had went mad and killed himself, and the bank wanted to unload it fast before word got out. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love these uh, openings that do this like super stylish. It wasn't until my first night in the house that I learned the truth. The house belonged to my father. 24 years ago, my mother, Anna, died while giving birth to me. My father, overcome with the guilt of having put me up for adoption and the pain of his loneliness, did the unthinkable. In his youth, he'd found an old herb called the Hachimara plant that one could smoke to converse with the dead. He distilled this herb into a concentrated liquid form in hopes of seeing his love again. <laughs> well, it worked, but all too well. He didn't just see into the other side, his very soul traveled there. However, he became trapped in a sort of purgatorial void. The horrible eldritch creatures there fell- okay. Being a wine enthusiast, I was eager to try some of the vintage wine located in that cellar. To this day, I'm not sure if it was by divine fate or sheer rotten luck that I drank from a bottle containing the distilled plant. I arrived to find a broken shell of a man. I agreed to help him recover his memories. The room contained many of his experiences and emotions. 
So I was trying to voice act this, but it may move too quickly. I saw his love. Whoop, frame rate dip, whoop. I shared in his humor. Oh, that was my favorite scene. I was literally crying laughing. I'm going to be uh, linking the uh, playlist in every episode of this. I felt his pain. I cowered in his fear. Wow, the frame rate dips here are real. Demons of the realm tried to stop me from aiding him, but my mother, who possessed the heavenly strength of an angel, saved me in the end. I escaped the void, and my parents were able to move on. Despite these nightmares I have every night, it's time that I too move on. I would leave, but I feel compelled to remain in this house until I uncover all the secrets it may hold. <laughs> A late night drink. The last sip. Now, D'Angelo, if you're watching this, keep in mind, I have my own PC now, I can voice act whenever I'm not at work. If you're ever doing something, I will do voice acting for free, and I will give you my 100% all. I've gotten, I know, I did voice acting for the Barnes Secrets, and, you know, reading all the reviews, one thing that they've all mentioned is that I was actually fantastic. Not to sound like I'm trying to brag or anything, but I just, I am such a perfectionist when it comes to voice acting and everything. I will help you out as much as I can, and I will give you everything I can. I'm serious. I, it's because I enjoy doing it. I will Skype with you. I will, you know, do whatever you need me to do. I don't have any to- oh, okay. Transcript has been added to your notes. Gonna open that real quick. Because this is amnesia. Uh, Late Night Drink was also, for you Markiplier fans, this the, uh, was also the uh, birthplace of Tiny Box Tim. Uh, so I would love, and I know that uh, D'Angelo made some uh, nice um, references to Markiplier in his uh, original uh, mod, like such as the Where's the Blacksmith thing. Uh, so I would love to see if like Tiny Box Tim actually makes a full on cameo. I'm hungry. I should check the kitchen. It's to the right of my room. And I, th I think I'm going to make these about 20 to 30 minutes long each episode. Because I don't want to have this be like a super long series. It's funny. It was so dark that night that I didn't notice the store. There's some wine in here if I drink blah blah blah. Okay. Um. Hello and thank you for playing my custom story. Alright, I did that. Intro transcript. Alright. Cool. Uh, diaries. Mementos. Make mashed potatoes. Find potatoes, peel potatoes, put pot on the burner, cook your feast. Okay, I guess I gotta make some mashed taters. But yeah, D'Angelo, I would 100% do... I would 100% drop whatever I'm doing, even take vacation days to help you out and voice act because I love ever I love the uh, I, I liked your YouTube channel. I don't know if you've been uploading lately, but I haven't seen any notifications from it. Um, I loved your let's plays. I love uh, a late night drink. It is my favorite non-biased custom story because again, I did do voice acting for the um, what you call it. The Barn Secrets. Um, but yeah, it is my favorite, and I love everything you do, and I want to help you any way I can. Oop. Uh, peel potatoes. Alright, so do I gotta... I have potatoes. I got the potatoes. Alright, there we go. Picked up the knife. Peel potatoes. Peel potatoes ready to cook. Burner. So I'm gonna need... Put the pot on the burner. Is it the pot over here?
the pot on the burner. God damn it, I keep hitting tab. Cook your feast. Actually, one thing I'm going to do real quick is bring this up and then hit my DPI switch so that when I'm in menus, mouse is more manageable. But Okay. Uh, how do I light the burner? I need matches to light this. I'm scheduled to have the cheap wiring in this place fixed to next week. Until then, I'll just have to deal. Should be matches in the storage room. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! You know, there's darkness! Was that a noise? This darkness is kind of ominous. So is the music. This isn't the storage room, is it? That is not the storage room. All right. <laughs> I've got salt water in my nose. Or in my mouth. I mean, it's really magical. It feels really fucking weird doing the... Uh, nasal flush because you're literally blasting uh, water uh, you're literally blasting salt water up in one nostril and it uh, and blowing it out the other so it feels really weird but god damn it's so magical so magical when it's done because it's like you can smell in friggin HD should be a crowbar here somewhere that's what the notes said Huh. Do I gotta go... throwing boxes around? You gonna pull some bullshit like you did in the beginning of the last one? There's gonna be all of a sudden a bunch of suits of armor just kinda... chilling there? Pulling some mannequin bullshit? Gotta find my Gotta find the crowbar to make my potatoes! Crowbar! For potatoes! Got it, huh? Crowbar didn't break. That's a first. Tinder boxes. Took a box of 99 matches. Odd number. Must be some weird limitation in how many matches are allowed in one box. Wow, that's... yeah. You gave me a lot of Tinder boxes right off the bat. Are those all gonna get taken away from me? I have a feeling those are all gonna get taken away from me. That's how these games roll. All right, close the door. Because unless there's a grunt that's going to be popping out. To get used to these friggin amnesia controls. Mmm, I can almost taste those potatoes. Potato, potato. And nothing bad happened. Maybe it's potatoes and wine won't don't go together, but I like it. I found a log book in my father's study that tells me which bottles contain the plant. So now I can enjoy his vintage collection without fear. I mean, you can talk to your mama. I wouldn't be afraid of talking to mama. Mama's awesome, and dad has a pretty funny sense of humor. I wonder who that is. So I'm gonna try and voice act as much as I can here, just to show D'Angelo that I could have done this. Ah, the newspaper. Good, something to read while I can eat. Police are still baffled by the recent disappearances and deaths that have been hitting the tri-state area. The deputy was quoted as saying, Due to the varied nature of each incident, we are not ruling this the work of a serial killer. We have nothing more to say at the time. Just what aren't people telling- or just what aren't the police telling us? A local man was found watering the streets yesterday evening. He was covered in what would later be found to be his own blood. The medical examiner told the press that the man appears delusional and continues to rave about monsters taking away his daughter. After checking his identification, they found that the man did, did indeed have a daughter, and the police have since been unable to locate her. They are looking to the man as a prime suspect, but are keeping other options open. When asked if this could be linked to the other disappearances, the police chief had no comment. Search is still underway for the person who slaughtered everyone in a rural village. Soul Survival, a local blacksmith, described the massacre as a blur of blood, wooden boxes, and hair dye. 
We were unsure that what he meant by this, but his breath smelled of alcohol during the interview. Yep, another Markiplier thing. I love when people do this. Says the guy is crazy, but if I told people what I've seen, they'd say the same thing. I wonder how many lunatics in the asylums are just people who got a glimpse into that void. Right, I need to go to bed. Those nightmares have been keeping me up all night. If this keeps up, I'll have to start. I'll have to start taking sleeping pills. So I'm the voice acting may not be as good as you know you would expect for an actual one. But again, remember I'm also doing this without direction and I'm doing cold reads. So D'Angelo, just know that if you were directing me, I'd be better. I'd give you everything you wanted. We could have been so happy, D'Angelo! <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Hop on the bed. Loading. Uh oh. No. No. Okay. It looked like it was about to crash. Well, I don't look good. I don't like that. I really don't like that. Is that thing gonna get closer if I look away? <laughs> what? What? Hmm? Who's what's it? Who's it? Who's it? I don't like this. Fuck you! I know, I can tell you're not even static. You're something that has an animation. Are you static? Oh, looks like you are static. Alright, but I can tell you're going to change. Like, you are going to get closer once something has been... They! No. That's open. I'm keeping my friggin' eye on you- whoa. Frame dip. Major frame dip. Keeping my fucking eye on you. I have a feeling there's gonna be something that makes you get closer. Hello? What do you want? Is he closer? Oh jeez, he looks like he's a little bit closer. I don't like you. You're a dick bag. Being all scary like that? Hey! I don't have my box. You're getting closer. Looks like. I don't have the combat box! Another sanity pose. Hey! Hey! You are getting closer! Eat a dick. Suck five dicks rotating. Climb up a wall of dicks and fall off. You're getting closer! You stop that! Stop that right now! No! No! Stop it! Go back. Go back over there. Douche. Hey! No! Stop it! No! No! I don't want you in this room!
No! No, uh None of that! You understand? None of it! Not even gonna lie, I totally just did that just for the thumbnail background. So I can take a screenshot after I convert- or, uh, after I compress everything. Okay. Hey. Hey, hey, hey! I saw that one! I saw that one! You're being a big old bag of dicks. Big old literal entire bag of dicks. You're getting closer. I don't want you in my room. Wanna sleep in peace, there's oil. Hey! I saw that! You dick nose! And more oil! Hey, I'm seeing this! Asshole. Got everything. Still got the tinder boxes. You're, you're getting real close, dude, and I don't like it. I don't fucking like it. Getting super close. Hey, stop it! I saw that! I see that! Stop it! No. I'm not scared. No. Give me the oil! No! No! No, uh! Stop it! Big old bag of dicks. Hey! You too! Hey, hey! No! Hey! Whoa! Uh, uh, okay. Um, I, I grossly overestimated my power here. Uh, uh, book! Haha! <laughs> Facebook. Get it? No! None of that! Is that? Yeah, that pops in and out, okay. None of it. Stop. What? This makes me... Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. I am uncomfortable. Ah! Uh, hi! Okay, bye! Oh... Okay... Bad touch. I need an adult. Check all of the thingies. Light candle. Cause I have 97 of those motherfuckers. I can deal. Crystal- I- I- ugh. Are you- Are you really sure? Like... Are you totally 100% sure that you are not psycho bonkers crazy right now? Right now, dude. Cause... I have absolutely no confidence in that assessment. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. So we're running up in about 27 minutes. I'm gonna have to get to a point where I can save and move on. Cause I'm gonna be recording another one of these once I'm done with this one. Like pretty much immediately gonna do all my stuff, edit the audio. Oh dear. I'm basically just gonna edit the audio, save it, and then go for round two. No! That's not okay! Bad touch! Oh, this is a long one. This is a long stairway. No! Nuh-uh! Nuh-uh! Not okay! Not looking! Not looking! Nope! No!
Fuck you, D'Angelo. Seriously! No. No. Noob. Oh. Noob. 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 Big old bag of nope. Oh, this is a new texture for a floor. I can't imagine that's gonna feel great to- Oh, God! Oh, Tiny Box Tim died. That was Tiny Box Tim. Tim, no. Oh! Oh, okay. Fire. That, okay. Uh, yeah. Zuko, you being a douche here? Okay. Yeah, hi, ah, uh, hi. Hi there. How are you? Are you doing good? Your head is on fire? Or are you just a Super Saiyan? Okay. Um, bye. Ah! Ah ha ha! Okay. Okay. Okay, bad touch. Bad touch. I don't- Hi! Oh! Ha ha! Ah! Well. Okay. I guess when uh, I get a respite, I'll just, uh, kind of... Uh, MAMA! Mommy. Mommy. Mommy, I need help. Mommy, help me. Mommy? What? Oh, that's not good! That's a bad. That's- that's not a good. That is a bad. That is a certified bad. Okay. Well. Alright. So... <laughs> Oh, okay. Well. That- that couldn't have been a normal nightmare. It felt so real. I need to get a grip. What I experienced was horrible, but it's over. I think today I'll look around the house some more, okay? Alright. So... That- that all happened. That all did happen. Alright. So that seems like a good place where I'm gonna call it now. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. As always, leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends about me. I am Squishy the Titan, and I'm going to finish this up, do some things, and then I'm going to record part two in like two minutes. So you have a damn nice day. Bye!